Beowulf, Page of Heroes. Now then, what have we got here? Just arrived. Oops, seriously, just arrived moments ago. I've not set up my camera properly. You'll also be out here. Loads of builders in the background. I also don't have a knife to hand. Here we go. Let's get these open. So these are the print proofs, physical print proofs for Beowulf Age of Heroes. Oh my goodness me. It's just blank. It's just blank paper. Oh. Look at that. Also, this is, yep, there's all our signatures. Now, is that, oh, gold hit my camera, way too excited. The lights are all strobing because I've got too many LED lights on. Let's get these open and take a look back in a minute. Okay, so let's take a look at these print proofs. Now, I have to say before we start, the um, camera is kind of recording things a little bit more high contrast than they really look. My lighting and so on is not perfect for giving you um, a kind of perfect impression of how this looks. But I have to say I am very, very pleased indeed. So the uh, proofs come in a bunch of signatures like that. That is how a book is made. They'll be all bound together. We get these unbound pages for a quick look through before they fire up the binding machine. And yeah, let's take a look at what we've got. So obviously, if you look through the um, the PDF, you're going to be familiar with these these pages. I am very happy indeed at how this has all come out. I think it is looking fantastic. I could not have asked for better. We'll just leaf through a few of these so you can see it's been surprisingly emotional seeing this as a real thing. It's amazing stuff. Oh yeah, look, I was really happy how this double page map has come out. I was a little bit worried it was going to be too dark because um, there's quite a lot of kind of dark brown tones and stuff on the page. I also wanted to be sure that the green on green areas are very readable and they are. It all looks very nice indeed. Very sharp. Um, because I'm so used to seeing this on a screen, as, as of course you will be, um, it's surprising how crisp it all is in print because monitors are not the best place to, to view this kind of stuff. Um, we've deliberately made a very sort of visuals heavy book um, and the best way to view it is is in print. Let's see, it has, oh, I mean, these pieces by Jan Pospisil have come out absolutely beautifully. Do you know what? I've never asked Jan how you pronounce his second name. That's very rude of me. I should I should find out. These just look great. Piece by Scott there. I'm loving all these big spreads mixed with text. Again, very happy how these have come out. Now, I'm not gonna go through every single page. I kind of want to, but we'll end up with an enormously long video. Um, and you know, it'd be nice if you can have a leaf through your copy when it arrives, you know, in a fresh state rather than having seen it all revealed for you. One bit I do want to show you, I think this is my favorite spread in the whole book is, yeah, this one. Um, I just think this came out really well. Really nice. This this piece of artwork, I was talking to Paul Bourne, who does our layout and graphic design. Um, he We opened up the big um, doors on the office uh, so that it was basically, it's basically outside when it's opened up. And um, we were suitably distanced, but we had a look through. These took it in turns to view them. <laughs> a little bit of um, hand sanitizer in between. Uh, and yeah, very, very happy with how this came out. But I was saying this this piece of artwork took took a long time to get right. And I think it looks better in print than it does on a screen, which is always a winner. But yeah, lovely, lovely stuff. Lots to look forward to. Let's skip uh, a little bit. Yeah, again, very happy with how these weapon spreads came out. That is always a worry that we the the artwork when it's on the on the light colors is going to just look too dark but it doesn't it looks great it probably looks too dark through the camera um, but there's lots and lots of detail there in print 
very cool. It was nice to revisit some of these pieces of artwork that I've almost forgotten about. Because you do these things, you know, and you get it done and you put it in place and you move on. So it's lovely to revisit them. Oh, we don't want to show it. I don't want to show off any spoilers for the, the adventure. But yeah, how nice do they look? Great. All the monsters and so on looking good. So yeah, fantastic stuff. This is all approved. So all the pages are printed. We just needed to approve these. They are now being bound probably as we speak because um, as part of the printing process, it's nice to get things bound as soon as possible. You don't want to leave your printed pages lying around. So that will be underway now. Um, it's all obviously done on machines that work incredibly quickly. So we're hoping that actually we should be getting books to our German warehouse next week all being well but you know at this point it is completely out of my hands we don't know how everything's going to go um obviously there's a bit of shipping involved there but it's looking good for that kind of delivery to germany from whence a whole bunch of books will head across the atlantic to the u.s and a bunch of them will come to the uk there will doubtless be some custom shenanigans there always is hopefully that will be as little as, as one can reasonably expect and, and books will move quickly through those systems. We will, hopefully we won't get absolutely hammered on customs charges, fingers crossed. I mean, books are generally not too heavily charged. Um, and yeah, we should begin shipping books to you soon. Fantastic stuff. But yeah, very, very pleased with how these came out. Lovely to be able to show you these print proofs. Fantastic. Beowulf, Age of Heroes.